A former director of the Lansing Catholic Diocese St. Francis Retreat Center in DeWitt has been accused of embezzling hundreds of thousands of dollars from fellow priests. You know, you would think that someone's a priest would be uh, above doing this kind of thing. Thursday afternoon, Attorney General Dana Nessel announced that Father David Rosenberg is being charged with several felonies and is accused of embezzling more than $800,000 from three other priests and using that money to fund his charitable foundation. Joanne McCartan says one of the three priests Rosenberg is accused of embezzling from was her brother, Father Ben Werner, who lived in an apartment at the center for seven years after his retirement. Father Rosenberg came, uh, I think, three years before my brother got sick. And uh, I don't think my brother knew him all that well, but somehow he was able to convince my brother to uh, sign these papers and sign the will and so on to him. But that was after my brother had this very severe stroke. And so his cognitive abilities weren't the best. Werner had the severe stroke in January 2018. She says Rosenberg didn't call her until a month later. And then he told me, uh, I think in a subsequent call, that he was the executor, healthcare proxy, power of attorney, all those things that I had been in a previous will. And that my brother didn't want me there. She finally visited her brother around Easter, about two months after his stroke. In the interim, he had shifted uh, all these accounts over under his uh, direction. And so he had like total control over my brother's finances and his health care and so on. She says she didn't ask about it because she was afraid. David Rosenberg said, we don't want to get your brother agitated, do we? So I... I once I asked my brother where if he had a will and he told me, oh yeah, it's somewhere in the desk drawer, but I never saw any will because David Rosenberg told me everything's sealed, which I don't think was quite accurate, but he told me that. Her brother Ben passed away Christmas Day, 2018. Uh, some friends suggested from what I told them, why don't you try and send things to the attorney general's office? And I thought, well, I'll just take the chance. Rosenberg appeared in court on Thursday. So we will be over the, the next couple of days, we'll be discussing and deciding whether there's anything further from the diocesan end that we need to do, uh, anything that we've missed uh, over the past few years. Despite the allegations. I don't think that uh, David Rosenberg is an evil person or anything like that. Uh, you know, I don't despise him or something, um, but I think, uh, it's unfortunate that he chose to take advantage of elderly sick people. A probable cause conference is scheduled for December 15th and a preliminary examination for December 22nd.